Hi. Welcome to today's topic. Today we are going to discuss the topic photographic method and dropping mercury electrode. What do you mean by photographic method? And it is a type of voltammetric technique. What is a voltammetric technique? Voltammetric technique is known as is the study of relationship between voltage, current and time during electrolysis. That is known as a voltammetric technique. And if we study a electrolysis using current voltage relationship by applying or using dropping mercury electrode as cathode, and that type of technique is known as polarographic technique. And diffusion is the main mechanism of mass transport in voltammetric or diffusion polarographic technique. By definition, polarography is a branch of chemical voltammetry in which changes in current or pace due to the electrolysis of the solution under the study and it is investigated using a renewable mercury droplet as the indicator electrode or using dropping mercury electrode as the cathode and that is known as polarographic technique. Basically, it is a study of current changes in current against voltage based on the that change we can able to find the concentration of a solution or concentration of a species and that is known as a polarographic method and but if it, uh, dma is taken as the cathode then what is anode anode is the in a mercury pool or a calomel electrode is taken as the anode and plot of current against voltage showing the presence of chemical species and their concentration. And what is the main difference between this electrolysis and polarography? By passing in current through it for a sufficient length of time, the pollution undergo electrolysis. And electrodes are last surfaces. This is process we are passing the current continuous current through the solution. Then solution is stirred to facilitate and electroactive materials get deposited on the large surfaces and that is known as electrolysis. But in polarography, it's like store duration time, electron on which constituents are placed out of is a dropping mercury electrode so that the currents are very small, negligible current we are using. The changes produced by polarography are normally not measured and the polarographic solution can be recovered virtually and change. It's the main difference between these electrolysis techniques and the next is very important topic related to this polarography is dropping mercury electrode. And what is a dropping mercury electrode and what are the advantages of this dropping mercury electrode? In polarograph technique, this dropping mercury electrode is a, known as a working electrode or a micro electrode or it is known as a, a or it act as a cathode. And one is a dropping mercury electrode. Here in the figure, it is clear that a, a drop of mercury is formed from the pool of mercury ion. And this one is a mercury and it's a drop and this dropping mercury electrode acts as cathode or it is a known as a working electrode in the polarographic technique and what is a dropping mercury electrode is a capillary tube of 10 to 15 centimeter and the diameter of 0.05 mm a vertical distance being maintained between dropping mercury electrode and the solution and the drop time for each drop is 1 to 5 seconds and drop diameter is 0.5 EMO and that is known as a dropping mercury electrode and that is taken as the cathode uh, in polarographic technique and with the surface of the cathode that remain fresh and results are reproducible and that is the advantage of this dropping mercury electrode and the anode is a pool of mercury here is taken as the anode or here we cut it to a calomet electrode if we take it as a pool of mercury and that is known as a cathode and that is 
anode is or performs zero produce taken as the anode. This is a schematic assembly for a polarographic measurement using dropping mercury electrode. It's a polar, it's a mercury. Here is the capillary tube of dropping mercury electrode. It is act as the cathode and it's connected to a H type 2 and that is connected to a calomel electrode. Then it's a current galvanometer and other battery and other setups are there. Then here we are passing the nitrogen. It is we are supplying an inert gas such as nitrogen through it. Why? What is the importance of this step? Here we are supplying the inert gas through it. This is essential as oxygen starts reducing before the halfway potential of mercury ion use if a solution containing oxygen and that is undergone reaction or start reducing before the halfway potential of relief. That will affect the process or affect the uh, current and or large current will flow through the system as oxygen is reduced to water and this process uh, takes place two steps when uh, hydrogen peroxide is used first this is converted to hydrogen peroxide and hydrogen peroxide is converted to water so in order to avoid this one we are using a, a passing an inert gas such as nitrogen to the solution as the surface area of anode is not so that is the importance of passing a nitrogen through the solution or passing inert gas through the solution next is experimental conditions you know you take it the solution at 10 to the minus 3 to 10 to the minus 4 molar concentration and supporting electrolyte is taking one molar then we pass inert gas this is if i have already told you know to avoid the reduction of dissolved oxygen we are passing the inert gas nitrogen or deaeration using nitrogen then pure mercury is allowed to fall through the test solution through a capillary tube that is 20 to 30 drops per minute each drop is held at the end of capillary two for two to three seconds that is act as the cathode one drop falls ten second drops it takes place its place and that way it continues and calomel electrode act as the anode and connected to a cathode through a glass grid a connected cathode to a negative and anode to a positive terminal of the battery that is the experimental condition for the polarographic method applied voltage is varied by adjusting the sliding conduct d and current strength is measured by using a galvanometer based on that one we are plotting curve this one is a very, very important one. It's a polarogram. This is a current against voltage relationship. We get a S-shaped curve. Here we are putting a graph like this. We have shaped curve. And here is a, there are different portions are there. That is A to B is there, B to C is there, C to D is there. And what is A to B is known as residual current. And B to C is known as B to C is known as a or this diffusion current or C to D is known as a limiting current and this portion M B and the AT and that particular potential is known as decomposition potential. And what is this one? Residual current, limiting current, diffusion current, half wave potential, and decomposition potential. 